Welcome back children. So today we are going to learn about the job application. How to write a letter or an application when you are applying for a job. It is uh, very much important uh, at this moment because very soon also you people will be going to uh, work on it or you are going to write for uh, various job opportunities. So what to do now? Let me uh, just inform you. So letters uh, either which is written to make a request or apply for a service that is a job application you people are very much aware. Now job application has two parts that is your covering letter and bio data. That means whenever you are writing a job application if you think that you are only writing a letter then that is uh, your mistake in my dear because you are doing two things there. One is you have to put a covering letter that means your formal letter as it is given here and at, along with that you are going to attach a bio data, resume your CV or anything. Okay. So now what is the format of the formal letter that is very much clear to you that is the sender's address will be there then the date will be there date format also you know you are not going to write that 27.020 then not that that is not the format you have to mention the proper suppose you are writing on 27 so like 27th February if you are writing according to the date that is required in your question paper. Then after the date you have to write receiver's address never do this mistake that after sender's address you are writing the receiver's address. After sender's address, next is your date, format you know, 27th February or 6th, 7th March, comma 20xx. Then receiver's address. Then your the thing is subject or for what? What is your subject in your letter? But remember, you need to underline the subject. Okay, underline the subject very clearly. After your subject, your work is for salutation. In a salutation also I mentioned there, dear sir. And then the after your uh, salutation, your body part will be there. I have just mistaken that thing children. Mistaken means you know. Now say dear sir, like you are sincerely are not going to write. You have to write here. Number 6, body. Body of the letter. Okay. Then will be your closure that is a complimentary closure now when you are writing complimentary closure means what is that your sincerely then your signature and then below your signature you write your name very clearly because many of you have a short signature never put your short signature if you are putting that then very clearly mention your name uh, and this will be the part of your covering letter that is the first part of your question is solved after this you are going to attach your bio data resume or your CV. Now what the things you should mention in your bio data I am going to give it after this. So just go through this then I will be coming again with the bio data part. So here is your uh, how to write a resume or bio data or CV. Now the thing is uh, first we had done with the covering letter part. So when you are writing the covering letter before your complimentary closure what you are going to write? Kindly find the attached thing that I will be giving you in the point to remember what will be your last sentence before the closing statement of your covering letter. So how to write a uh, bio data resume? First thing is name, your own name, uh, father's name, date of birth, address, phone number, email id, Till here you people are very clear because no changes are required here or no um, inventory details required. Hobbies, mention your hobbies, what suits. Sometimes what happens, suppose you have a hobby of uh, photography but you are applying a job for something else. Now if you are putting a, that is not related, sometimes we need to write uh, one or two hobbies which can be correlated with the uh, things for which you are applying, for the job which you are applying. Then language, you know, Hindi, English or any other language, foreign language, if you know, you can put there. Educational qualification. Now, when you are mentioning children, educational qualification, be very sure or put it in your mind, very clear uh, information that that can be in two ways. That is either ascending or descending. You know, don't, don't write whatever you remember or recall. And one more thing. You are at 12th. You will be thinking what educational qualification only we have completed our matriculation and uh, now we are doing our plus 2 or 12. What? No, you are applying for a job means you have to create those things. And when you are mentioning your uh, matriculation, uh, then your uh, plus 2 level, then your graduation, then your masters, then your any technical issues, 
those things you need to uh, be very careful when you are assigning or putting the year. Suppose one child has completed the, this is not about you, you are writing something which you are not the original candidate. So suppose if you write uh, matriculation is uh, 2000, then what will be your plus 2? 2 years, that is 2002. Then after that, which will be your graduation? After that 3 years, completed courses. That means, mere bolne ka matlab hai, jabhi bhi aap educational qualification dalo, be careful with the years. Don't mean, just put the years in any way, whatever you want. And, itna zarur koi bhi technical degree waha pe aapka hona chahiye. So, two things I told you, either in ascending or descending, either you will go from the highest degree to the lowest, or from lowest to the highest degree. Along with that, some technical degrees also you can mention that, because whatever you are mentioning, it is not for you. So whatever your aim is there to achieve your own destination when you finish your all the education level and you join, those things you have in your mind, you can put it here. Suppose you want to be a doctor and now you think you have already become a doctor. So you can put a qualification, you are applying for a very good job at any other foreign institute or something somewhere, whatever you are doing, you need to mention. Now experience means you have to mention here where you have worked previously. Pe humko ye hai. Suppose uh, if this is for an application or job application for a teacher, then you can mention here. Yeah. Uh, I have worked with such and such school, ABC school for three years for teaching this subject to this class. And koi aur bhi, do experiences aapko de sakto. If it is for a fresher, then one experience will also do. Then reference. Reference means you have to create your two or three names as a source of reference, suppose uh, uh, if one wants to know about you, inquire about you, those people can be called. So, here you have inventory, you have to creation your own creation, a creative person, an imaginary person with reference you have to dalna. And signature, your own name. Is this much clear? Okay. And after that, when your these things are done, you have to make a box. And when you are writing your educational qualification, it can be in different ways. Suppose, you, uh, aapka, um, qualification, suppose if it is matriculation. Okay, matriculation or phir 10th lik sakte ho, kuch bhi likte ho, 10th board lik sakte ho. Then, kaunsa saal, kaunsa school and kitna percentage. Okay, this is year, this is percentage. School. You can do that much. Okay. And then 10th ke baad 12th ya plus 2 level same ways aap kar sakte ho. So this can be in this way. Ab isko iske saath nahi. Jab jahan pe education qualification likho ke uske niche ye cheez ko yahan pe dal sakte ho. Then you can mention experience. Then you can go for reference and then go for the signature. Understood? Everything again I will be giving you in points to remember. Don't worry. Don't get confused. But don't forget to put everything inside a single box because it carries some marks also. Not the letter. Resume. Okay. Go through this. So children, here is the uh, rest of the part as I have said uh, before that I will be giving you the uh, points to remember that is summing up. Okay. So first the marking scheme is given to you that is format care is one mark, content two marks and expression two marks per total five marks. Be very sure what content you are writing. Now what are the key points that you should remember while preparing the resume or your um, formal letter. That means you have to attach the Resume with whom you are attaching. You will attach the letter. Now how are you going to begin your letter? First thing. What is the thing? You cannot say how are you? Hi, I am fine. What are what's up? Now, now the mobile social media. What's up we are putting. We are not able to write hello, how are you? What's up? That means kaise ho. Okay, like those things. Don't write that. So what are you going to write? Begin the body of the letter as. Kya? Kahan se tumko pata chala ki tumhe apply karo job ke liye? With the reference to your advertisement, dated, dash mein dala hai, koi bhi date dal dena. I offer myself as a candidate. Okay? So, when you are writing with reference to your advertisement, aap wahan pe newspaper ka bhi de sakte ho. With reference to your advertisement, dated, this, 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 
इन ऑन द न्यूज पेपर इन द न्यूज पेपर द टाइम्स हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स कुछ भी लिख सकते हैं आई ऑफर ओके देन या फिर थ्रू सम रिलायबल सोर्सेस आई हैव कम टू नो दैट देर इज अ वैकेंसी इन योर थिंग्स थिंग्स जो भी लिखना है लिख सकते हो ये दो चीज आपको नहीं लिखना है आपको क्या करना है एक चीज मैं आपको बता रही हूं यू कैन बिगिन इन टू डिफरेंट वेज नेक्स्ट ये बिगिनिंग हो गया कंक्लूजन क्या है लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू योर रिप्लाई या फिर थैंकिंग यू इन एंटिसिपेशन फॉर ए पॉजिटिव रिप्लाई दैट मीन्स यू आर गिविंग देम द थिंग्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू रिप्लाई मी इन ए पॉजिटिव वे अदरवाइज विद वार्म रिगार्ड आप अपना लिख सकते हो नाम लेके गॉट इट बॉडी ऑफ द लेटर हाउ मेनी पैराग्राफ्स यूजली दिस यूजली is written in three paragraphs but the um, length of the paragraph depends upon the things you don't make it a lamba chora letter koi nahi padne wala hai so you have to make it in three paragraphs but maybe shorter chote chote paragraphs theek hai uske baad coming to the resume section what are you going to do divide the resume into sections first hai aapka personal details personal details mein aapka name name kya likhoge एज मैं इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर क्वेश्चन में जो नाम दिया गया या फिर आप अपना खुद का नाम मत देना ओरिजिनल डिटेल्स नहीं देना इसमें ओके देन मेल आई डी डीओबी दट इज डेट ऑफ बर्थ एंड एक्सेप्टर वो आपका पर्सनल डिटेल्स में चला गया नेक्स्ट इज एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन एज एव सेट एसेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग लेकिन ईयर को वेरी केयरफुली मैंशन करना यह ना हो कि टेंथ कंप्लीट करके एक ईयर दियो और चार साल के बाद का प्लस टू लेवल दियो पता चल जाएगा कि आप फेल हो चुके हो so don't do that duration ko theek se yaad karke rakhna then work experience as i have told somewhere you have worked previously you have to mention um, somebody some um, random kuch naam le lena usme likh dena and for 3 years or 2 years then coming for the extra qualifications that is technical degree jo maine bola tha usko aapko likhna hai this is your divide division of the resume ho gaya then sabse important word jo bhi aapne resume banaya hai लिखने के बाद उसको एक आप बॉक्स में डाल दोगे लेटर को बॉक्स में नहीं डालना है ओके यू हैव टू पुट एंटायर रिज्यूम ओनली और द सीवी और द बायोडेटा इनसाइड अ बॉक्स जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस सम वन और टू मोर पॉइंट्स आर देर आई विल बी कमिंग अगेन विद दो टू पॉइंट्स so this is the last point what i forgot to tell you not actually forgot but it it would uh, make your uh, letter covering letter little bit more attractive or beautiful uh, okay what is that when you are ending your covering letter that means before uh, this part thanking you your sincerely before this you can write there my i my resume is attached here with for your kind perusal that means jab aap कवर अप कर देते हो ये थैंकिंग यू लिखने से पहले उसको पता होना चाहिए कि लेटर के नीचे आपका एक रिज्यूम ही जा रहा है ओके सीवी जा रहा है तो उसके लिए ये अंडरलाइन मत करना आई हैव ओनली अंडरलाइन टू मेक यू फोकस क्योंकि ये पॉइंट हमारा रह गया था ओके सो माय रिज्यूम इज अटैच हियर विथ फॉर योर काइंड पेल्यूशन अंडरस्टैंड यूज दीज वर्ड्स इट मेक्स योर लेटर अट्रैक्टिव यू विल लर्न मोर वर्ड्स विच इज रियली ब्यूटिफुल आप लिख सकते थे आई एम अटैच माई सीवी you can go through my cv don't do that write this and then after that thanking you your sincerely understood i think i have made your concept clear if still you have doubts you go through the video again and again and uh, many of you know me very pers- very much personally you can put me questions i can i will try my best to clear your doubts till then you can go through this video with this we come to the end of the writing a job application hope this is clear it will help you a lot in your uh, writing the 12th exam go through this only this much we have to cover up today thank you take care and stay safe